My first visit to Noy's house was back in July of 2023. I'm going to play you a little 30 second clip of when we brought pizza to the house to give the young kids and her mom and dad a pizza treat. And when they wanted to eat, this is where they were sitting, which is in the very front of the house, which I will show you later, which is a very old section of the house that they use as a utility section. Uh, they may be eating there one minute and uh, letting uh, tarot dry in there on the floor the next minute on mats. So check out this 30 second video. Pizza D Mac. I think we didn't bring enough pizza, honey. We should have brought more pizza. Yeah. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. <laughs> Eat too much pizza, you'll look like Mark. <laughs> now, if you don't think this is real, this is about a kilometer or so from Noy's home in the province. And we were just driving along, and this guy was doing a cow crossing. He was urging his cows to go the other side of the street. And there they go. This is, this isn't Bangkok, baby. This is out in the sticks. And uh, these people scrap a living together with cows and here we've got a delinquent cow who doesn't know when it's his turn to go. What you're seeing now are two pictures. One looking down the left side of the house on the left of the screen and one looking down the right side of the house on the right hand side of the screen prior to the work being done that we did. And if you notice where the on the right hand picture where where the concrete blocks are clearly shown right up front with the little wooden chet with the little wooden armoire or whatever it is right there from there on back you'll see that there's windows gone and it's it's real low to the ground now if you look up against the side of the building you'll see just how dirt lines are shown. And that is a result of flooding, a lot of flooding. That's how the, the, the water gets there. And if not properly constructed well enough, you're going to get water coming in the inside of the building. Now here you're looking at a picture of after the house that we just looked at was torn down the whole back side of the house. It was it was knocked down and then the floor was removed and dirt was spread and then they put up new supports and that's a brand new roof area going all the way back to the trees. And what this is going to allow is concrete to be poured that is basically going to be about a foot high. And that foot higher of concrete is going to keep the water during any type of a flooding situation from running in and uh, basically they ripped down the whole back of the house and started over that's about the size of it now here's 
the same house but you'll see where I annotated a white line going down where we ripped the entire house out and then replace that with the new elevated section. Now right behind that white line is a walk-in door. You notice there's all new windows and you'll see later on a video from the inside where the actual uh, room that that is really leading up to is about 20 inches elevated over the room that is right next to the young man in red. Here is a little section of, of roof and uh, though that roof was the new roof that we put up on the new section and this house doesn't have air conditioning so the the new windows help a lot now before the ceremony for the Buddhist house blessing we went to macro and she basically spent uh, I guess two hundred three hundred dollars on food then she went to a market and spent another three hundred dollars on food uh, and then she went to we bought kilos of shrimp and then she bought fish and all together for this house blessing I'll bet she spent 1500 US dollars on food I thought boy is that a lot of food well I didn't realize the entire village is going to show up and they show up hungry and what they don't eat <laughs> they take home so that's going to be shown in the next video and basically it's a heck of an experience uh, to have your house blessed in a Buddhist ceremony so stay tuned for the next video which is going to be the actual preparation of the food and the Buddhist ceremony I hope you found this as interesting as I did